Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Mr. back with another video, and today I'm going to show you how to avoid getting your content flagged by the new content ID system by YouTube. Uh, basically, a lot of videos, especially gaming videos, are getting flagged for having, you know, copyrighted content, even though technically that content is protected by the fair use law. Uh, but uh, once your once your video gets flagged, it takes a really long time for it to get unflagged, and it's really annoying uh, because, uh, especially for the big YouTubers, you cannot make money off the video unless it's you know unless it has no copyright material in it. Uh, but the new robot is just detecting all this copyright material and giving like false claims. It's really annoying. Uh, so I'm going to show you guys how to avoid the whole content ID system as a whole, and it's actually really easy. Uh, well, it's kind of easy. It's a couple of steps you have to take. I'm going to show you guys how to do this in Sony Vegas, uh, but you can really do this in any video pro video uh, you know program. But Sony Vegas is the most popular, so I'm going to show you guys how to do it in Sony Vegas. Uh, now I have had my Battlefield 4 footage flagged for some reason. My multiplayer Battlefield 4 footage flagged. Uh, I was very annoying. I had to file an appeal for fair use. They got it unblocked in like a couple of days. Uh, but uh, I'm I'm trying to show you guys how to avoid that as a whole, like I already said. Now let's say this is, you're playing campaign for Battlefield, right? Uh, or any game, as a matter of fact, because uh, the campaigns are the parts where it's really risky and it gets flagged. Like, if you guys know the Rad Brad, yeah, he does it really well. He, he talks most of the time, and then in cutscenes, he stops talking. Uh, and he uh, when he stops talking at the cutscene, he has a really good chance of getting flagged, which is very, very annoying. So, uh, first of all, first things first, make sure your voice, like your voice audio, your commentary, is always louder than the gameplay audio. So this is gameplay audio right now in Battlefield. I don't know if you guys can hear it. I don't think you guys can hear it. Uh, but as you can see right over here in this bottom left, there is audio and, and you can probably see the audio waves. Uh, so I'm going to shot it right now. Uh, let's say, let's say this is my commentary right here, right? This is my commentary for the whole thing. Uh, this is actually, oh God, this is huge. Okay. Okay. So let's say this is my, this is actually way too loud. Not a good example. Uh, I'm trying to find some, oh, there you go. Let's say this is my gameplay audio, right? Oh god, it's not working. <laughs> I want you guys to see the audio so it's uh, reasonable. But let's do this. Hold on, I have an idea. Uh, cancel this. Oop. Uh, copy, paste. Okay. Let's say this is this blue layer is my voice, right? This is my commentary over it. I want to make sure my voice is louder than the gameplay. So if I lower this gameplay channel right here by grabbing this and lowering it like this, uh, or I could lower it from here, I could lower the dB to a negative something and that would really decrease it. As you can see, you can barely hear the audio uh, of the video, but you can hear the commentary over it, which is pretty much what everyone does. And sometimes if you mistake this and your game audio is the same level as your voice audio, uh, you have a good chance of getting it flat because uh, the content ID system identifies those sounds. Uh, now, let's say you're playing campaign, right? And you're watching a cutscene. Uh, like I said, the Rad Brad, I love his channel. Uh, he stops talking during cutscenes. And I already mentioned this again. Uh, it has a really strong chance of getting flagged. So, in order to avoid this, one thing he can do is he can mirror the image. So, let's say uh, this, I'm gonna cut out a part. Bam. Let's say this, this little cut, these little cuts that I made right here, this middle thing, let's say this is a cutscene, okay? So, in order for the cutscene to not get flagged by the frames that it has, so like the image that it has, what I can do is I can mirror the image. So in order to mirror the image in Sony Vegas, I go to pan cropped, okay? Make sure both of these are unselected. And basically, I flip the image so it looks like a mirror. Uh, so I'm gonna drag this so the F, this F right here, is backwards. So I'm gonna do this, do this, bam, and then bam. This is gonna make it everything backwards. You can see the map is now on the right side, and the letters are backwards too, so it's not it's not very easy to read. Uh, but if I go into gameplay, you can see uh, the maps over here. This is over here. Uh, it doesn't really have an effect on quality, but it's very confusing and but very con confusing during gameplay. But it's not very confusing during a cutscene because the cutscenes are usually cinematic, and you can't really tell a difference when everything is backwards like this. It doesn't really make that much of a difference. Uh, now some cutscenes do have music in them. Uh, so I remember doing my Far Cry 3 uh, walkthrough and the first ever, if you guys ever played the game, it has this song playing in the background and that video got flagged because of the song. Now, uh, it's really, it really sucks you have to do this now, but what you can do is you could add music into the cutscene and make it a little bit louder than the in-game in voices uh, or you can talk over the cutscene. If you do either of those, you have a really good chance of it not getting flagged. But make sure you use uh, royalty-free music or music that's not copyrighted, because that you know otherwise it will get flagged. Uh, so let's say this is my cutscene audio right here, right? 
Okay, uh, so like I said, I could do two things. I could lower the volume of the cutscene and I could talk over it with my own voice, which is the blue layer right here. Or I can add a little bit of music and that music will have to be a little bit louder than the in-game audio. Uh, so yeah, you can do those things. Uh, that's pretty much all the tips I can give you guys on how to get your content not flagged. Uh, and I'll show you in another video how to file an appeal on YouTube. Uh, it's really, it's a really boring process, but this is a good thing to do if you have older videos. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope this helped. I'm pretty sure it helped a lot of people that are getting their content flagged to make sure you're future proofing that it doesn't happen to you again. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and hope it helps someone out. Uh, that's pretty much all, and thank you guys for watching, and goodbye.